Good morning, pipe smokers. Sun coming up, coffee going down. <laughs> Sounding like a broken record as always. Another hazy, hot and humid day here. Seems like it's never ending. Got some new ones to do. Uh, I wanna get through some of these Ken Byron. I've did a bunch before, but uh, these ones I got at the pipe show. And a couple quick uh, mentions. Uh, those of you who are on Facebook, I'm not on there very much and Instagram. I'm mainly just on YouTube. But those of you who are, if you know Val, Val Shanahan, he runs that group on Facebook that uh, he's always selling pipes and you're allowed to sell tobacco on his site, on his uh, Facebook group. I recently heard this week that uh, he's in really bad shape. I guess he got the COVID and uh, he was really bad and he got out of his bed and he was so uh, lightheaded and couldn't breathe that he fell on the floor and he broke his arm in two places really bad. And I guess he's in the hospital on a ventilator fighting for his life. So uh, those of you who may know Val, I'll post a couple pictures of him here. What a little quick story about him. When I first met him and started talking to him, I thought that he was Mark Ryan because he looks just like Mark Ryan to me from Daughters and Ryan. And I asked him, I said, uh, like last year, I said, are you going to the pipe show? It was great to meet you. I want to you know, see you again. And uh, here it ended up that it was Mark Ryan that I met and I thought it was him. Well, he's a super cool guy. And uh, just to show you what kind of guy he is, I had sold some things uh, this spring and uh, was on through his site. And uh, I asked him, I was, I was going to give him a, a tip, a bonus for selling some things on his site. And he wouldn't take a dime. He, he wouldn't take a dime. That just goes to show you. So that and Classical Pipes, Dion Powell. I believe he's called Classical Gourmet now. He's back. <laughs> uh, he's going to be making, he told me this week, me and Dion always keep in touch. He's going to be making more cooking videos, hiking videos, outdoor camping, stuff like that. And uh, I told him, I said, once in a while, cause his channel's monetized and he's not allowed to tobaccos and alcohol and stuff like that. I told him maybe to try and sneak a uh, pipe in with his cooking show once in a while or talk about what kind of tobacco he's gonna be smoking after his gourmet dinner. <laughs> so everybody welcome him back. This is the one I'm gonna be doing today. Carry on. Uh, there was three at the show that I bought said I don't know if they were made special for the show I don't think they were because I did find one review on this from the famous JM Inks and it's the only review on this and this is a special rare red Virginia's from a different couple continents some special Perique and special Burley so this should be right up my alley I'm hoping for the best let's get this sucker cracked or ripped I should say To me, his tobaccos were just okay. There was a couple I liked more than others, of course. They were all like very wet and they all had some kind of really strong topping, casing. Smells uh, sweet, fermented, tangy. Oh, I like to see that. Look at it! I'm over in the other corner, so I don't think the lighting is very great over here. Smells really nice. Let me get my bowl packed and I'll give you my honest thoughts. Okay, we're back. As with a lot of his blends, to me anyway, they seem to burn hot. And this one does as well. A 
There is some nice flavors coming through. It's definitely tangy, which is what I like. Tangy, spicy, hot, burning hot. Smoking this in my very first pipe I ever bought. I believe I was 18 years old. Dr. Graybo, Royal Duke. I bust this pipe out every once in a while. Like I said, there's, there's something about it. It starts out very nice, and then by the time you get to the retrohale, it's just like hot smoke and air. I'll definitely smoke this in a, uh, another one of my broken in briar pipes or a cob pipe for sure, but uh, definitely promising. Uh, I'll let it dry out some more as well. I don't know if you can find this on his site right now in order some or not. Like I said, these were from the show. But I'm certainly not hating it. Not picking up much of the Burley at all. It's more of the Red Virginia and the Perique are definitely the front runners to me. I will be back tomorrow morning for another one. I'll do the other uh, one of the other ones I got from the show. I don't remember what the names of them are. Hope everybody has a great weekend. For you sports fans, college football finally starts today. Even though there's mainly scrubby games, but it's still something to watch. Remember, whether you're a cigar lover, pipe smoker, whatever your belief, we're all brothers and sisters of the leaf.